Hey guys, Cam here from PhoneDog.com and in the mobile market these days it seems the big word is continuity or at least the big buzzword. And for those of you who don't know what that essentially means is that it's figuring out a way to make your computer and your mobile device work together seamlessly. For Apple that's quite easy because they make Macs, they make iPhones and iPads and they can just figure out a way to make them all play nicely together. Android has done a similar thing, or Google's done a similar thing with Android Lollipop and Chrome OS where they can make the two talk to each other nicely. But for manufacturers who don't make computers and mobile devices, it's a little bit trickier. So they have to make bespoke pieces of software to go on your desktop. And that's what BlackBerry's done with the BlackBerry Blend piece of software. And what it essentially does, it gives you access to your device and lets you send and receive email messages and all sorts of other things that you could normally do on your device without having to pick your phone up. I've been using it for the past couple of days to see what it's like in daily use and I thought I'd bring you an overview, show you how it works and give you my thoughts. So when you first open it up you have to go through an initial setup period to pair your phone with your computer or the Blend software on your computer. But you have to put in a passcode to say yep this is my device, this is my computer, I'm going to allow you to work nicely together. Once you've done that every time you open up your computer or open up the app on the computer then you'll connect to your device automatically. And you can do that three ways. You can use a USB cable, use a local Wi-Fi network, or use the actual mobile cellular network, which is actually quite cool. It feels a little bit magical. Once you've opened up the app, you don't have to do anything. It's just there and it works. Now, the first thing you're going to see is the dashboard. And this gives you an overview of everything that's important. So you'll see a snippet of your inboxes for your email, your SMS, and your BBM. You also get really quick access to the hub that you've got on your device. Underneath all of that, what you have then is a little bit of calendar that shows you your next few hours and what's coming up in your day. And below that, you've got a row of six icons and they take you to your email, your messages, your hub, uh, your BBM, your calendar and the file manager. Now, everything works pretty much exactly as it works on your BlackBerry phone. So if you want to send an email, you go into your hub. You go to create a new email, you can choose whichever account you want to send it from. You don't have to sign into those accounts again because you've connected your device already. It's already got access. So then obviously you have to put in your contact, your subject, the actual message. You can send attachments if you want to and hit send and it sends. And everything that happens happens in real time on your computer and on your device. So it's all happening all at once. You don't have to then go and change any settings or manage stuff. It just works. And it's the same with SMS and BBM. You send them from the window in the computer and then if you immediately go to check your phone, you'll see the status is just exactly as it is. Of course, when you're typing text or BBM messages, you can put it in attachments or you can use the usual set of emoticons. And you've also got access to your hub. Now, if you're a BlackBerry fan, you love BlackBerry OS 10, you will love the hub. This is where you see all the notifications that are important to you. And it shows up exactly the same way on the BlackBerry Blend client on the Mac or Windows PC. And part of the app is exactly like the BBM app on your phone. You don't just get to receive and send messages, you see everything else as well. So you'll see your group chats, you'll see your individual chats, you'll see your feed where you can see updates from your contacts. You can go into your contact list and you can see your invitations where you can decline or accept them. You can also go to channels and subscribe to whatever channels you want to and see updates from the channels you're already subscribed to. Like many pieces of computer software for mobile devices, you also get access to your files where you can download and save images and videos and all sorts of other things and that's kind of by the by. So if you have a BlackBerry, this is a really super simple way to keep on top of all your notifications and important stuff. And I don't know about you, but I'm not one of those people who likes to have to keep picking up their device every time there's a notification to get to. I like that it's all manageable from my computer, I can get to it and then carry on working. I also like that I don't have to keep picking through my emails or trying to manage them or put them in different orders because they're already exactly the way I want them to be. So if you like keeping organized and you want your desktop and your BlackBerry to be in complete sync, then you'd almost be foolish not to download BlackBerry Blend and, and, and use it. If you have, let us know what you think of it in the comments. Also, likewise, if you're not a BlackBerry user, 
Is this something that would almost pull you towards BlackBerry, or is it just a dead company to you now? Leave your thoughts in the comments just down there. Get me on Twitter, I'm at phonedog underscore cam. Ask me any questions on there, and I will see you again soon. Hey guys. I just did that with two hands. It's like Talladega Nights. I don't know what I'm doing with my hands. Yeah, the car felt real good and the, the track was real good. <laughs>